as we think about how do we embrace the unexpected, sometimes we have to be okay that things we thought were right are actually wrong. Glory, we ascribe. We ascribe glory and honor. And wisdom and strength. To our, to our God. Well, there are a lot of things that come unexpectedly. And one of the things that I've come to find out is often God comes not when we expect, but when we least expect. For Saul, he is on his quest, he is moving, he has built his foundation, although it's completely wrong, his understanding is completely uh, the wrong direction, and then he has an unexpected encounter. And his unexpected encounter changes his direction. Everyone say change of direction. We worship, we worship, adore you, adore you. We declare, we declare nobody like you. Nobody like you. We worship, we worship, adore you, adore you. We declare, we declare nobody like you. Nobody like you. Say we worship. And I'm thankful that we have a God that cares enough about us. That similar to Saul, that some of us are so diametrically opposed that God will interrupt your life, interrupt your plans, interrupt everything that you think you're doing just to shake you, to get you to hear His voice again. Some some of this isn't because God dislikes you. Some of this isn't because God does not care. Some of this is because if God does not do this, he will never get your attention. This is the reason why you're where you are, because God just wants your attention so that you can hear his voice, maybe for the first time, like you've never heard it before. I wonder how many of us think that we know God, but if we ever heard his voice, we too would have to ask, who are you? That maybe God isn't who we thought God was. Because we've been moving in such a direction for so long that we've actually moved far away from God. We declare. 